You guys, this is pretty crazy that you guys are here today. It's, it's just starting to rain and you can see the tarp was there. We just unwrapped this brew house. Nobody has seen this brew house yet. Not even the people that are investors, nobody partners, nobody else has seen what we've just unveiled. And this is, we've just spent the last two weeks polishing this thing up because we're actually planning on taking it into the brew house or into the brewery tomorrow. And so this is a, we're pretty excited. The brewery's coming soon and this thing is, this is what's gonna make it. So Village Brewery is, the name, the name pretty much tells you what we're all about. That old adage that it takes a village to raise a child, well it takes a village to raise a brewery. And we're building this brewery because the reverse side of that, it takes a beer to raise a village. So our, our attitude is that uh, we've been in, we've got a collective 140 years of beer experience amongst all of us. So we're at a point in our careers where we wanted to actually build our own brewery and have a lot of fun. And so what we've done is we've created a brewery that's actually going to be given back to the city. We've just created, this is again, first time anybody's seen, nobody's seen this yet. <laughs> this is the first time, these are what are called growlers. So you would buy this and full of beer, you'd fill it up and come back and refill it. You know, pricing somewhere around 15, don't hold me to this people, $15 to buy it full and then $7 to come back and fill it up at the brew house. But essentially, there it is, it's, it's, it's really pretty. If you can get in tight there, you'll see that it actually says, uh, don't be the village idiot, drink responsibly. As you can see, it's all sorts of different shapes and it, that was on purpose because the village is made up of a whole pile of different people. And a really big important part of a village are the artists and that culture scene. And that's what draws people, that's what pe people, the creative aspect keep people alive. And so a big part of what we're going to do is 10% of our net proceeds are gonna go back to artists. I took six months driving around in a car, staying in different towns all around the world, Halifax, I almost moved to Halifax. I almost moved to Thunder Bay, interesting one, Ottawa, but I settled in Calgary because Calgary had, had this, you know, I just wanted to be part of the energy. I just wanted to be part of what this city was doing and this place really rocks. I love Calgary.